What's going on guys? Hunter here. We're out here mowing and it is hot. I mean, it is bad hot today. I think the heat index is like 105 or something like that. Got the laser Z behind me. Got the row bar up today because I'm doing a little filming. Good view there of the kind of, you can kind of see what I see uh, from the mower now. So we're going to try that out and see what it looks like. Uh, but this yard right now we're mowing is very high and thick. I'll turn the camera around in a minute so you can see it. But um, it's only been two weeks on this yard and this yard grows faster than any yard that I believe I cut. I mean, this is a, it's insane how fast this yard grows. I mean, it, it's just truly insane. We're getting it mowed though, uh, mowing on three and a quarter, uh, which is pretty pretty high for, for around here. Uh, I typically mow on about two and a half, two and three quarters, but I'm mowing on three, uh, three inches and one quarter. And so that's it's working pretty good. It's cutting pretty good on that. So that's what I'll keep doing it on. And then I'll come back and double cut it on four and a quarter. I'll raise it up an inch and it'll kind of spread that grass out where you can see the stripes pretty good. But I got the camera set up up here today right here on the mowers where you can see that way you'll be able to see exactly what i'm seeing uh, while i'm mowing and everything so there you go All right guys, so check this out. So this is why I double cut my grass after I get done cutting it. Um, so this is double cut, this is single cut. And like I said, this is on, so I started out on three and a quarter and then I double cut it on four and a quarter. So one inch higher. And this right here has only been cut one time. And so you can see it's night and day difference. It makes a huge difference on these yards. It takes a little bit extra time but it makes a huge difference on grass that make on yards that leave a lot of grass like this and it makes it look really good and so you can even see the stripes pretty good on it i mean not great because it's a lot of grass but it definitely improves the quality of the everything and so uh, we're going to keep mowing got a lot of grass on the laser z here 
got Matthew over there blowing with the BR800C and uh, Pop somewhere around there mowing. And uh, so we're getting it done. Uh, this yard normally takes us about an hour and uh, about an hour to do just because it's so much grass and it's so tall and thick and everything. Uh, but we're getting it knocked out and uh, got the time lapse still going here. So about to hop back on and finish this up. But I wanted to show you, I mean, that's just night and day difference. it done got it looking good got a bunch of grass under the deck right there i gotta get out uh but we'll worry about that later so i failed to mention this earlier but i want to go ahead and mention it to you now before i forget uh so if you're mowing and you're gonna double cut it this is a pretty important step so you want to go back and forth the same way that you went the first time that way you can stripe it good so if you don't know what I'm talking about, for instance, this white line right here, if you're looking at a white line, that's the direction you need to go. So you need to stay on the middle of that white line and go straight. And then when you start to come back this way, this line right here or this one right here will be white. And so that's how you need to come back. Not sure if that makes any sense or not, uh, but you wanna keep your directions all the same when you double cut it, just like you did on the first cut. That way your stripes still look good and you don't, you know, don't have it all going in the same direction or something like that. So just want to throw that in there, but we got it looking pretty good. You got the stripes even showing up in it. So about to get on the road, go get some more done and uh, get this grass off the deck and everything. But man, these mowers right here will forever more cut. In case you couldn't tell in that time lapse, this mower was mowing through that thick and tall grass like it was nothing. I mean, it was just, I swear these things are like a bush hog. So, but anyway, we're gonna get on going, get on out of here. They're over there waiting on me. What's going on guys? Hunter here, Govin Lawn Care. Hope you enjoyed that video of uh, me mowing on Laser Z. Uh, that was actually filmed yesterday. And so today is Wednesday. And uh, so we're out here mowing again today. We're at one of our commercial properties right now. It's actually a church. And uh, so I'm not gonna show you where I'm at or anything because I don't, I don't know how they feel about that. We're out here mowing, we got about 20 25 left for this week we're gonna to try to knock out 10 or 12 today and uh take a big chunk out of them there and uh we'll have a, just a few left and so friday we'll probably take a half day and have a good weekend and everything and uh so but man it's hot it's bad hot this week uh yesterday i said the heat index was about 105 and i believe it's gonna be about that today i think it's supposed to be like that about every day this week and they're talking about us getting some rain this weekend, but eh, I don't know. They, you, you can never tell with the weather. So, And uh, that's one thing I was going to kind of ask you all about. So I've noticed that my weather app is not accurate. It is absolutely terrible. I mean, like, I use the weather channel is what it is. And I will literally... It, I'll be sitting in the rain like I'll be sitting in the truck. It's pouring rain. It's pitch black dark and there will be nothing on the radar nothing You know or it's or it's the opposite. I mean it it'll be sunshine and it's there's a big old blob of green right on us So I mean, it's just I don't know. It's it's crazy That they hadn't got more accurate with weather right now. It's it's I don't understand and the news is even worse I mean the news is they're they're terrible. I mean, I just I don't understand so uh, let me know in the comment section what weather app you use if, if you have a lawn care business or a business that's outside and you have to depend on the weather a lot. So just let me know because I'm, I'm really looking for a good weather app that I can depend on and trust and everything. And so um, just let me know in the comments what weather app you use and if it's accurate, if you like it, you know, or whatever. If you're having the same problem as me, just let me know. Uh, so think that's about it i wanted to ask you about that because like i said it's just it's terrible i mean it's absolutely terrible so appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know what weather app you use and uh, if you're not subscribed yet need to go ahead and subscribe so you can be all updated on everything and uh, you can see when i post a new video and stuff so appreciate you watching and i'll see you later